someone just said to me that um, they're thinking about uh, canceling Shmuley, Rabbi Shmuel Vitaeh's radio show on XM Radio. He has a section of uh, part of the Oprah and Friends Network. And I was really just starting to hear this. Um, this is a man who is not shy or embarrassed to speak about any concept. Uh, and he, he approaches it from uh, a uniquely uh, Jewish standpoint. And he's uh, filled with Jewish wisdom, Jewish knowledge. He, he's, uh, he's very learned. He's very smart. He's very humble. He's kind. And he has a message of, of, that's universal. And it applies to all people. You know, the satellite radio is, is used generally by you know, truckers and, and people who ordinarily would have absolutely no um, exposure to Judaism or Jewish concepts. And he comes on like from 12 to 1, I think again from 5 to 6 on his channel. And you can literally just all of a sudden be exposed to the beauty that is the Torah and its wisdom. And I was very surprised to hear this because I was thinking this is the way um, these types of programs are going to go, that slowly they'll become more and more infused with Judaism. Judaism as a, as a uh, wealth of knowledge has been around for 3,320 years since the giving of the Torah. And it's been elucidated further in every single generation, up until our generation, and it still continues to this day. And a man like Rabbi Shmuel Bertaf is someone who is unique because he's not embarrassed or scared to address any topic. He senses intrinsically that the Torah covers every aspect of creation and every aspect of your own personal life. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be using the knowledge within the Torah to address every single issue. I'm going to put on this uh, video a link to um, the XM, the Contact Us on their XM radio. I would just ask if you could take a moment, just send them an email and say, please do not cancel the show. I think uh, if we get enough of these together, um, maybe it'll make an impact. Or, or maybe if, if he's able to prove to someone else, let's say, that he has enough of an interest, he'll get, he'll get another an hour time slot. If you haven't listened to it and you do have XM radio, I, I suggest it. I believe it's channel 156, part of the Open Friends Network. Again, 12 to 1 and then 5 to 6. Um, and I'm also, if you're on Facebook, I'm making a, a group eventually. And... and um, I'll, I'll invite you if you or just find search uh, you know like say Rabbi Shmuel show or something like this should come up. Um, I'm open to um, to uh, questions and comments, but this to me is you know the things like five uh, J seven seventy and like the, these types of videos. This is where I thought we were going to go eventually with with this type of communication to elucidate the Torah and to get the Torah transmitted to the four corners of the world. Because if if there is an invention like Chazan, um, the, the the founder of Chabad.org, saw that people were using the internet for two things basically. Uh, pornography and sports. So he said, why not for Torah? So he made Chabad.org, and there are many websites, Torah websites, after that point. And that's really, I mean, when something's invented, we have to see how can we, how can we discover, how can we uncover the beauty of the Torah within this, this invention. And satellite radio is no different. And so for them to take this step backwards, I think would be a huge loss to them and to us as, as a listening audience. Um, so thank you so much, and I encourage you to just send them a quick email. And, uh, and of course, your, your feedback is always welcome. Thank you. God bless.